Well, hi everyone. This is James with Live to Survive. Thought we'd take a look at my cook kit today. Uh, just pieces I've thrown together and worked on and modified and everything else. Uh, but I thought maybe y'all'd like to take a look. I know I like looking at people's things. Uh, we'll start here with the canteen. Military issue canteen, canteen, and utility cover, utility pouch, whatever you want to call it. Standard, one quart, one liter. And in the pockets. Nothing. And in this pocket, I do keep a little small fire steel. It's the first one I ever got. It was given to me by my son, I think. I don't remember. Somewhere in there was supposed to be a can opener. I guess not. All right, let's try to dig out the canteen cup. Hold on, one hand that I can't do this. Alright, so there it is. Canteen cup. Got my stove. It's here. And of course everybody knows the can fit in there. It doesn't work too well. It sticks to the bottom. Turn it around backwards. It still don't work too well. So, my fix for that... are three pieces of coat hanger. Each one has a slight bend in the end, so they don't come out so easy. I finally got that one in. little turning and maneuvering and they actually work out all right. There we go. Now with those three wires in there, well, well let me turn around and get it right. There we go. Now, with those three wires in there, set the cup right on top. Doesn't drop in, doesn't stick. Put your fuel underneath. I have some wet fire tabs that I use in there. Uh, of course, the cup's seen better days. Um, I have marked the measurements on the outside, though. I haven't been used all that much. Usually, I use my pots and pans, because normally I'm not alone with my kids. And next, uh, let's go to here. All right, I've got my pot lids that I've made a cover for. But they don't make as much noise and bang around. Make so much racket. And yes, I'm a cheat. I have a pot lifter. And we'll get to that in a minute. Now I've got two different pots. With, of course, a piece of fabric in there so they don't rattle around so bad. And they're non-stick, so it doesn't beat the non-stick all the pieces. I think this was like a one and a half quart pot. This is like a half pint, whatever you want to call it. Then what goes inside there 
is my old alcohol stove. And I do still use this old alcohol stove. Um, it works with the canteen cup and stove. Yeah. It's in a can, uh, some kind of bean can or something like that. Cut the top off, spread it around the side, made it fit on top. And that works as my primer tray. Again, I've got material in there so it doesn't beat around and make a whole lot of racket. Uh, old alcohol stove still works good. But I'll take and fill it up and I'll add a little bit in here, like that first, and let it start warming up. And then, of course, the jets will start working. And a bunch of other junk in the way. And the lids of the pots. They each have handles on the top, no drain holes. Um, I started to drill some in there at one time, just never did. Now, let's go here. Utensils. Yeah, my purple spatula. I have a wooden spoon that I've cut down the sides to make it a little smaller. Um, cut the front down a little bit, make it a little more pointed, and get it in the pans better. And a knife. Uh, that knife's used just for food preparation. Uh, my other knives get so nasty and dirty, I'd rather not put them in my food. And a frying pan. Bought this frying pan, cheap frying pan, I think it came from Walmart. It's been used a few times. But it was heavy from the big plastic handle. Took up too much room because it didn't fold down. So, my idea... I came up with this. That's still the original metal piece right there that was on the frying pan. I found a longer bolt and bolted it in. Uh, what I did here was made like an L bracket and of course yes I was a welder for years so I welded a stud right on here to the top with a wing nut. The piece of aluminum is off of a crutch now this way it's folded up takes up a lot less room the handle folded out tighten the wing nut and there you go the handle is short enough where it doesn't weigh down the pan Pan can be sat on the stove. It actually balances pretty good. When you're done, you clean it up. Turn the handle back again. And it'll slip right in the pack. Uh, maybe that'll give somebody some ideas. But it's just an L bracket with a stud welded to the top. A wing nut and part of the arm off crutch. Next thing, this is a sterno folding stove. Um, the bag I made from a Frog Togs raincoat uh, bag, I made it a little smaller just to fit the stove. Cause you can tell the stove gets a little grungy after a while. But it's just a little cheap. I think it's like six or seven dollars. Sterno stove from Walmart. Now there's a grate I made to go in it because I don't use sterno. I use wood. Um, I'll go over this one other time too, or I'll go over this some other time too. All right, let me get this thing put together. Hang on. All right, it doesn't take much, but it took me more than one hand to do it. Then the grade I just made out of some expanded steel. Cut a piece to fit in the bottom. There you go, there's my wood burner. You can tell it's been used a few times and for what it is, it works great. One day I'll get it burning and maybe review this thing. But for what it is, six bucks, 
you know, a lot of people have the twig stoves and little wood burning stoves that work. I'm on a budget, just about the best I can do. And it works good, it doesn't weigh that much. So that's my entire cook kit. Everything that I use. And there it is, all put back together. Everything as it should be. Doesn't take up that much room, doesn't weigh all that much. Um, I've never weighed it, so I'm not quite sure. Hope y'all like my frying pan modification. Uh, the couple mods I did to the canteen cup stove. And well, that's pretty much it. I cook on this just for me, or I can cook for a meal for a whole family, uh, which I've done quite a few times. Either way, Thought y'all might want to have a look. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully I have another video out soon. Thank you.